Hey everyone, it's your girl Nunu the Hair Diva and I'm back with you with a confession of a beautician video. Yes, it has been a full month that I haven't posted <laughs> one of these videos. That's because sometimes when you want to tell a story, you definitely want to tell the truth. That's number one. But number two, I kind of want to be careful <laughs> what stories I tell. Not all of them are good. <laughs> some of them need some cussing. <laughs> but I don't want to do all of that. So this one that I decided to tell you is called We've Gone Wrong. And I know there are plenty of people out there who are not beauticians that know about weaves going wrong. They may not be sewed down properly. Uh, you may have lumps and bumps in there. The hair isn't braided right. None of that <laughs> was anything wrong with this particular weave. It unfortunately was a client trying to get over. So let's get on with the story. I was still working at uh, the salon called Queens of Weaves, which I told you in the very last Confessions of a Beautician no longer exists. It hasn't been in operation for at least five to six years. So I know I'm good with telling this story. I was still working there and I worked with like, I think like seven or eight other ladies who um, are beauticians as well and uh, we would take walk-ins and try to build the walk-ins as a regular client so this particular young lady that came in let me just let you know that I live in like a college town and our salon well it wasn't mine but the salon that I worked in was only about two or three blocks away from the main college so we always got a lot of new clients from the college because we were so close so I had a young lady come in and I'm gonna be nice calling her a young lady <laughs> let's give her a name Keisha cuz um, that's the first name that popped in my head so Miss Keisha comes in it's her first time there and we do weaves for $75 and pretty much that means your hair has to be shampoo conditioned and already braided in the pattern that you want. And all we do is sew in the weave. It's a little a la carte. If you want it cut, costs a little more money. If you want it styled, costs more money. If you want this or that, it's going to cost you more money. So it was my turn to take a new client. And I took Miss Keisha and I started to look at her hair. She had a, a hat on her head and it was kind of cool. But when she took the hat off, her hair wasn't shampooed, it wasn't conditioned, it wasn't even braided. So right there, I already knew this was going to be more than $75. And before I even touched her, I let her know, this is going to be more than $75. She said, okay, and she was ready for that, okay? I shampooed, I conditioned, blow dried, greased, all those things that have to be done before the sewing. And she already had her hair. So I asked her how she wanted it, and what she really wanted at that time was the Nicki Minaj bob, where the bang comes down, you know, right to your eyebrows and the rest of the hair kind of just you know sits right here simple enough for me to do and I have been doing weaves for quite some time but everybody has their own way of putting it in and how it's going to look in the end so you know I'm putting the weave in I'm sewing it down the way you know, she explained to me that she wanted it, and I let her know that she was not going to be able to part this hair. After getting the hair completely sewn down, that's when she looks in the mirror like this. 
So of course, me seeing her do that, I'm like in my head, oh Lord, what's wrong? You know, she don't have the happy face that I'm looking for. So she's looking in the mirror and she was like, I don't like it. And I'm like, okay, well tell me what is it that you don't like so that I can correct it because I'm all about fixing my work. This girl turns around to tell me, I, I can't make this up, that she looks like a prostitute. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> In my head, I'm like, dang, Nunu, you, that was not a good weave if the client feels as though she looks like a prostitute. At no time did I talk to her in any kind of way to make her feel bad. I'm like, honey, you don't look like a prostitute. You know, why, why would you say that? So instead of answering me, she gets on the phone and she calls someone. And uh, whoever she calls, she's like, she don't like her hair and, you know, it doesn't look right. Whatever she's saying, none of it is good. So the person that she's talking to on the phone is like, well, you know, I can't come right now. And I said that because this wasn't the only phone call that she made. So in my head, I'm looking in my mind and my eyes, I'm looking at her and I'm like, hmm, she's new. And when I told her this weave was going to cost more than $75, maybe she didn't have it. Or she's trying to get over on me. So she wants her weave to look bad when it really doesn't. It may not have been everything that she wanted because like I said, all beauticians are different. But she definitely didn't look worse than when she came in. You can believe that. So, you know, in my mind, I'm like, okay, she's trying to get over on me because this is not a bad weave. I gave her what she wanted. Just to let you know, the total price of her weave was going to be, at that time, $145 for everything that she got done. So, um, she was kind of, you know, upset, and we had like a break room off to the side. And you know, Nunu ain't scared of nobody but Jesus. That's it. And some water, you know, cause I don't want to drown. I don't like that. Well, <laughs> I took her to the break room because it had a door and you know, I stayed in there with her. She sat down and I stayed by the door because I was like, if something pop off in here, she ain't coming out this door until I get my coins. I am not playing. So she proceeds to call someone else. While I'm standing there at the door, letting her do what she have to do, um, whoever she's calling this time, I guess they said send a picture. So she takes a picture like this <laughs> and sends it to him. So when I see her do that, I'm like, you know what, hun? When you send a picture like that, it makes the whole thing look bad because your face <laughs> does not look like, you know, you happy with it, which of course she already told me she wasn't, but I knew she was trying to get over. So what I decided to do was, I gave her two options. One option was a small discount. She was gonna come off of at least $125, which means it was gonna be a $20 discount. Or I could take it down, give her back her hair, and she can go somewhere else. Those were the only two options she was going to get. And taking it down, you know, when you get a weave take down, it's usually like $25, $30. But I was just tired of the mess, and I could see that what she was trying to do was to get other people to be like, yeah, girl, it don't look right. I don't like that. You shouldn't pay for that and this and that so that she could 
argue me down and not try to give me my money. Mm -mm. Nunu might look like she was born yesterday. Ta-da! But I wasn't. So, <laughs> you know, the manager of the store comes in, of the salon, she comes in and she asks me, is everything okay? And I proceed to explain to her, you know, what's going on. I did the weave. She didn't have her hair already together. So I, I did a full service. It's going to be $145. She said she didn't like it. I'll take $20 off or I'll take the weave out. But one of the, she's not walking out of here with her hair done and not giving me no money. That's not going to happen. So the girl decides to sit in my chair and she wants me to cut her hair shorter. Now keep in mind, she wants the Nicki Minaj bob and then cut right to here. So I'm like, are you sure? Because once you cut it, you know, this is not real hair. It's going to, it's, you can't grow this back if you cut the weave. She was like, yeah, I want it cut. I'm like, okay. So I, add, I gave her some books. Show me what kind of cut you want. New, new, ready. Now, if you haven't seen any work that I have done, in the description bar below, I will put a playlist to all of the work that I have done. And I seem to think, you know, I ain't saying I'm the greatest, but I do pretty good hair. Okay. So somewhere in the process of this, because you got to remember, it's been five, almost six years ago, things just didn't go right. Not necessarily with me cutting her hair, but with her, you know, getting phone calls and telling people she don't like this and it looks like that. And, you know, after a while, I said, Dad, going it, you know I want to cuss. Enough is enough. But I didn't say that out loud. I just said it in my head. So I told her, ma'am, I think it's best that I just stop right here and go back to, you know, the options. Now, did I cut the hair some more? Yes, but I hadn't cut it up to where it wasn't unusable yet. I just kind of trimmed it some more because I was nervous and I just felt like she was wanting me to take it to a point to where... I had to give her money. Mm -mm, that wasn't going to happen. So let me tell you what ended up happening. Out of everybody that she called, nobody could come to be back up for her because Jesus was in control. And he knew, well, I'm not going to say Jesus knew. I'm going to say I knew that she was wrong and that what she was trying to do wasn't going to go down. And I think we started arguing. So while she was sitting there, Nunu got mad. And I mean, livid mad. Girl, I took them scissors and pulled the hair up, you know, like I was styling it and cut straight across. Yes, I did. I know y'all laughing or like, oh my Lord. Some of y'all even saying, thank the Lord. I don't go to Nunu -Nu to get my hair done. Now, no, I'm not bad like that. But I knew this girl didn't want to give me money. We have a lot of people in my area who try to swindle beauticians out of their money. And honey, I got another confession of a beautician about that that I'll tell you at another time. So I pulled that hair up and snip, cut that bad boy straight across it fell down in chunk layers it did it now it looked like a prophecy and actually i'm talking bad about them because <laughs> the hair looked worse i just told her there you go you can keep your money you can keep what's on your head. I'm not taking nothing down, nothing, and you can get out. So now, old girl want to fight. I'm like, okay, mama ready. Mm-hmm, ready. I am so nice that I don't let people know what I can and cannot do. <laughs> so I, was about, I was about to go off on a tangent, but I ain't going to do it. She was ready to fight, and I'm like, I'm ready. 
But today is the day that you gonna meet your maker. You was asking God to allow me to kill you. Now I'm saying it nicer than I normally would. <laughs> but you know, I just had enough of her shenanigans. The owner of the salon came by, was like, no, no, you know, you shouldn't have did that of cutting her hair. And I'm like, I don't even care. Call the police, call somebody, get this girl out of my chair and out this salon right now. Or it's going to be a whole lot worse than me cutting some weave. So, hunting, she was cussing and a fussing. And, you know, Nunu, I rose by myself, but uh, from New Jersey, my saying is, I roll deep as well. And I know most of y'all know what that means. Don't come at me unless you ready to see what's going to come back at you. So for at least about two or three days, I ain't going to lie, I was a little bit nervous because you never know who's going to walk up on you. It don't necessarily have to be her. You know, she could be in a car saying, yeah, it's that one right there. But then after that, I was like, mm-hmm, she, she know better. Do not come over here messing with Nunu no more. So I would have to say probably about a good five to six months went by. And you know, everybody in, in the salon knew <laughs> about that story and how I just cut the girl hair and was like, get the hell up out this salon. Well, honey, she came back in. This time, she came in for my friend, Kathy. Kathy is a phenomenal hair braider. Once I told Kathy, I remember who she is, get your money <laughs> before you do anything, there wasn't any problems. But yeah, that's the story. <laughs> How we went wrong. All I'm going to say is to all those who are clients to a beautician, if you know there is something specific that you want, you have to understand that you got to communicate that to your stylist. If there is a certain way things have to be done and that's not how you want it done, let your stylist know. Because we are going to tell you how much it costs to not do something and how much it's going to cost to add. And yeah, this was just one of them situations where I lost out and so did she. And I bet you if she wanted to weave, she's going to have to put some more money out for that hair. And I believe it was probably, I ain't even going to tell you what kind of hair it was because it was more than $30 hair. I just tell you that it was more than $30. But yeah, that was my weave gone wrong. So definitely in the comment section let me know <laughs> how y'all feel about this because i know some of y'all mad i know some of y'all like new new you was dead wrong for cutting that girl's hair but some of y'all also might be mad that there are clients or people out there who want to get over any kind of way they can and uh, some of us beauticians, we ain't gonna tolerate it. Especially if you've been in the game more than five years, for five years, yeah, you ain't gonna tolerate it. Them first five years, a whole bunch of shenanigans happened to you, but then you learn how to deal with it. And maybe I, you know, was wrong, but I never had that kind of problem with a weave ever, ever again. <laughs> but I did have a problem with another lady Child, you wait till I tell you about that. Comments in the comment section below. To all be blessed. And Nuna will see you in a few days with the next video. Bye.